everybody, welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, The Shift. Um, so very, very um, bleak IMDb synopsis. After meeting a mysterious stranger, a man must escape a dystopian world to return to his wife. That's all it says. It's only 5.7 on IMDb, 3,825 people. Neil McDonough, Sean Austin, um, Christopher Pohana. See if I recognize anybody else. Uh, I think there's other people in it too. But that's what I got for right now. I'm sure some other people will pop up. Um, it says on here, it doesn't even say like, you know, it doesn't say drama or comedy. I am 97% sure. It's a faith-based faith -based movie, hour and 55 minutes long. It's been out, out for a while, but it hasn't come out on streaming that I can get it until tonight. So you like these types of, and maybe I'm wrong. I could be completely wrong. Um, I don't know. Could be not faith-based at all, but I will let you know. I, I have a, a, an inkling that it is, but I'm interested to see. So if you are interested to learn more about it, stick around. I'll be back. Hey everybody, want to do the rare check-in here. We're watching the shift. We're at the 23 minute, 32 second mark. I know, very, very early. but. Rarely does a film grip me this early on. And I knew if, I f if it goes in a different direction and it doesn't hold me or whatever, I would fail to remember and talk about this at the end. So that's why I wanted a quick check in. Now, it is faith based, so, you know, that, that's true. That, and I don't know how, how far it's going to go. But at this point, you know, even if you're not like a believer in God or whatever, you know, and not into these types of things, if you're aware of religion, you know, and, and the God versus evil kind of conflict that exists in the world, and, you know, at least the, the you know, it's hard, the, the story behind everything and, and, and the story behind religion and stuff like that. The first 24 minutes of this is pretty, pretty very, very interesting, you know, with temptation and, like, and I, I, won't, I won't go into greater detail, but, like, it had me, like, interested from the start. I thought the opening was pretty neat um, with him meeting, you know, a, a woman at a bar. And that whole thing, the way they played out, I was like, that was neat. And then we fast forward to a couple minutes later, and uh, that whole piece about religion that I'm talking about comes out. And I was like, that was pretty cool. That made me think made me and it made me change thought process in in like a 10 minute time frame and, and i'll go into detail later if you stick around the spoilers and i'll explain to you what i mean but I, if, if you do decide to watch it i want you to go through that same um evolution that i went or maybe at least understand the evolution that i went through it was pretty wild so i had to stop it there and tell you who knows if it's going to get any good. I probably won't check in again. I'll see you at the credits, but who knows. Stick around. I'm going to be back again. <laughs> hey, everybody. We're at the credits of the shift, and I would say it was, um, it stayed pretty good. Um, it changes, I mean, it doesn't change. I mean, it kept the same thing, but the, you know, the, I would say the, the excitement kind of leveled off a little bit right at that point. Um, and I thought about it here as we go through, like, faith-based movie, truly faith, it is kind of heavy on the faith side, so if you're not into that, you won't be into this. Um, the, I, I see them as two, they, they, there's two different kinds of faith-based movie. I mean, and this is generalization, but they have these, um, you know, post-apocalyptic or dystopian type worlds. Usually the rapture is involved in that or something like that, and, uh, you know, they, you get some interesting stuff out of those and then you have the other kind where basically you know it's an everyday person who either doesn't follow God or falls away from God and something happens to drive him farther away and he's got to come back whatever those kind of things so two different kinds so this one's more of the sci-fi um, futuristic dystopian you know um, type situation so so you know that going into that and I, I like those I think that was pretty cool I like what they do um, and uh, so if you like sci-fi kind of things, this is in it. Like The Shift, just to give you a little inside information, The Shift is shifting from reality to reality. Um, you know, the theory is that, you know, every decision you make creates another reality. 
you know, what happens if you if you didn't make that, to, you know, and it goes one way, it goes the other. So there's all these different realities. So there's some reality hopping, if you will, which is, I don't know, there's parts of it that I didn't really like too much, um, you know, so I'll let you watch it and see what you think. But for me, you know, I was like, eh, just little bits and pieces of it. I like the futuristic, I like the... Like the not, I don't know, the armed guards and stuff, like in the one reality, um, and I love the fact that Neil McDonough in this. I mean, I, any any movie with Neil McDonough in it is going to be good, and he is perfect in this role. One other thing to say too, as well, that I liked about this. A lot of times, I mean, no, I shouldn't. Like, you, you watch these movies, and it's like, okay, what are you supposed to take away from it? Well, as soon as the credits come up, it says special message in two minutes. So, of course, I fast forward to that, and it shares with you the message that they're trying to, you know, bestow upon us as the viewers that you're supposed to take. And, and, it's, and it's more enlightening than, you know, I thought I got it for the most part, you know, but I was really on the surface compared to the way they, and it's not long, but uh, um, gives you, I was like, oh, okay, makes more sense now to me and uh, more powerful. Um, I will say this. So, while I didn't like the... The shifting a lot, um, you know, in, in certain situations, pieces of it was good, but there was little aspects of it I didn't like. But in addition to that, he has, he comes out and says, you know, the star of the show, who I don't even think I mentioned, says, you know, it tells us the whole thing, and it's like, okay, great, now I, I understand why, you know, the whole point of the movie and what you're supposed to get out of it, and he is, I might have missed his name in this, um, um, Christopher Palala. So he's our main character. He plays Kevin in all of this. But, um, yeah, he says all this. And then he says, all, you know, if, you know, to really help us pay it forward, right? And he gives you a, a QR code. And I was like, oh, this is great. You know, and he's like, share it with a friend. And, and I was like, that, that's, a, that's a great idea. So I brought out my phone. You have to pay to pay it forward. So I was like, eh, I felt, and I get it, the purpose of it. I mean, you know, like these movies don't make a lot of money although it's the same company angel who made um sound of freedom so that's that's pretty awesome um and they've had another one too that was very successful that allowed them to make this film but and i i totally get it it's um you know you don't make a lot of money making these types of movies because not, his only son is the other one sorry um, and so because of the success of that, they're able to make this one. And in order for them to make more movies like this, which I do enjoy, they want you to pay it forward. And I get it, but... And, and I'm not against that. I just didn't like that piece of it. You know what I mean? I just felt like, oh, this was a great movie. Had you really, you know... I, I, I thought it was great. Had me really thinking. Had me engaged the whole time. Really wasn't on my phone um, at all. And it's a longer movie liked the message, liked going deeper into the message, and then they were just like, I don't know, I just, I, I just, I don't know if there's, a, I get it, and I think there's a better way to do it, I think, but that was the only thing that kind of brought me down a notch before I did the review, like I wish I would have just done the review while the credits rolled before I got to that special message, and I think I, I would have had a higher energy at this point, um, but that's it. I mean, there was parts to this movie, I'll, I'll leave you with this, there was parts to this movie um, where I was thinking to myself, this was probably one of the best faith-based movies I've ever seen, um, you know, through most of it, until it started doing the hops, I'll say, um, but, because it really makes you think, it really does, I mean, I, I mean, I think, you know, for us mortal humans, it would make people think, and I, I enjoyed that, so, there you go, I rambled on enough. Check it out if you're into anything like I said. If not, just skip it and move on, and I'll have another re review for you coming out tomorrow, and you can check that one out. But I did enjoy it. Um, I don't want to, my demeanor right now to ruin the excitement over it all. Um, so there you go. Just being honest. Thanks for tuning in. Gimbal's Irish Pub.